Hello, and thank you for joining me. This is going to be part two of my review of this uh, Grizzly Open Stand Hybrid Table Saw. If you didn't watch the first review, I kind of went over just a um, overall review of that. I'm gonna this video. I'm gonna get into a little bit more that I didn't address in that one. Maybe uh, some clarifications or some added. Uh, inside or something. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I guess let's let's get started here. All right. So, if you notice, I put so this comes with casters, right? Uh, casters are um, where the locks are all the way up, and just the stability of this thing is like I'm not putting any effort into this really at all. Uh, I can kick these out maybe. Um, but yeah, this thing is, <laughs> I, they just, yeah, they didn't do a good job with these, with these at all. Um, so just the whole stability of this thing is not, not great. Actually, it, it sucks. It's not that it's not good. It, I, I shouldn't be able to move this around. Um, it's because they don't put the casters on here properly or they they didn't adjust the wheels uh, if you watch my last video I talked about the um, the casters a little bit but um, yeah I mean you can I don't know if you can see in the video um, but the the crappy um, lightweight let's get these things are driving me nuts here the crappy lightweight thin gauge metal that they put on on the top here they continued that on the legs so if you can see the legs are just bending as i move it um yeah so if you watch my last video i went into this a little bit um and saying that the the angle did not go to 45 degrees or, or did not go to 90 degrees. And um, I did get a comment in there, which they were correct. You know, they're correct. And I had already done that. Um, you can go open up the back of the cabinet and make that adjustment. Um, and so I did. Uh, I actually, yeah, like I said, I actually did that before that person commented. But um, yeah, thank you to that person. They, they are correct. You can go in there and make that adjustment. If you do see here, though, um, this is, I do have this at 90 degrees. I've verified it with a bunch of different, uh, testing and everything. And if you notice, not only does this not point at the zero, but I want you to watch, look at how far away from the gauge this is. And now I'm going to make this adjustment to 45. And look at how close, how much closer that gets. Um, so now it's it's not going along this path of travel. I don't know if it's supposed to be, or if that's maybe how they um, how they did it. I don't know. Uh, it seems to me like it should be like this more often. But I don't know if you can see how well you can see. So this is actually 45 degrees now. And if you're, that's not a camera angle. That's not a bad camera angle there uh, where you're seeing it's at 44. Uh, that is correct. Uh, I have to verify uh, that this is um, actually 45 on the blade, which you should anyway, but um, I can't, you know, I can't even line this up and then just kind of make sure and go, oh yeah, confirm confirm that it is 45 degrees. Now I have to go, well, I think it's a little under 44 is where I have to set it. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't know if something's broken in there or if something wasn't aligned properly. Um, once again, a manufacturing problem. All right. So for this part here, I'm really going to try and um, show this on the video. I hope it comes across. So I want you to see, so this is the right angle, um, and, you know, or the right side of the blade. And when I set my fence here, I'm lined up. 
and you see front to back. Uh, might be a little bit off, just a hair toward the back. Um, I've checked that on the inside and the outside. Um, and I'm, it's pretty straight. It's pretty, pretty straight on. Now, now we're going to look at this on the left side here. Like I said, I really hope that this shows up. So I've, I'm flush here, but I don't know how well y'all can see that gap in the back. I'm not sure if we can. I hope we can, but we'll see. Um, so it goes from flush to off quite a bit. And I did that. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see. Okay, so I've I'm flush here, but I'm overhanging, hanging over, uh, however you want to say it, quite a bit in the back. So I have checked all of this stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't seem like it's a problem with the fence because if the fence was um, having an issue, then it wouldn't matter left or right of the blade. It would be off just as much. Um, but it's only on the left side that it's that significant. Um, I don't know if the blade is uh, straight on, but I've measured it with the blade too. And that seems to be okay um, going along the um, the miter gauge slots. But on this left side, like I said, I don't know if maybe this the front rail is warped, maybe. Um, I don't know. I'm sure that Grizzly is going to want me to try and um, figure that out for them. I don't know. But it's not it's not right. And I can't, if I can't make a, a straight cut on one side, then that's not going to be good. Still have these issues with these not being cut properly. So maybe that's the problem, a problem. I don't know. And if you watched the last video, I did kind of get into the, the miter, um, the miter gauge here that they, this comes with the, table saw. Um, they probably, I'm guessing that they probably give you this crappy one so that you have to buy something else from them, buy an upgrade. Um, but <laughs> I did notice, well, not only is it off, so it's not 90 degrees, but if you saw that my last video, that that little issue there with the tilt. Well, part of that is because they have their little screws down here don't sit flush or aren't recessed or anything. They're actually sticking out from the miter gauge here, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, I also, I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, if you're if your angle's off on your miter gauge, then just change the angle. Um, the problem is, so they've got these little preset angles here. So it'll click in at what, 60, is it 75, 90. Um, so what would have to happen is I would have to get it, I have to pull this back or completely, I guess I can completely take this thing off. Kind of defeats the purpose of that, but I just decided that I'm going to have to use my old miter gauge. Because if you notice, there's no tilting or anything from this one. It's also set at 90, and this thing's. This thing works well. I like it. Um, 
Got a little bit of wiggle room in there, but not enough to completely change my angle or anything or change it really at all. So I've been going back and forth with Grizzly for the last week about this. Um, and they have, it took, took them a long time to get back to me. Um, and they keep referring to their return policy, which says that it has to be um, in the original box or the original shipping material and, um, and everything uh, can't be used. It has to be, essentially, it can't be opened or anything So for you to be able to return it. And uh, w- one of the arguments was that um, not all of the, the, it, the table saws not all of the table saws are the same. The uh, reference was in regard to my video that I submitted to them that uh, that past review. I sent them um, and said, here's, here's the problems with it. Um, and they said, well, they're not all the same. They're all manufactured differently. And I said, well, you know, if their quality control is that poor that they, they sent this out, then, you know, I, sure, I, I absolutely hope that I'm not, that I am the only one who got a lemon like this, who got just a a piece of junk uh, from them. Um, But I don't think that that's the case. I'm pretty sure that they want me to, if you return it, it has to be in the original um, shipping material in the original boxes. It has to be ready to go so that they can sell it to the next customer and hope that the next customer doesn't send it back. I mean, why else would they want you to Make sure that it's completely, um, you know, same same shipping material. And I keep telling them that I, I I opened it and I put it together to find these things. So how am I supposed to put it, send it back in the original uh, material, I, the original containers? I had to take this apart and pull the top off of here. Um, I had to open up the boxes. I had to get this down here. I had to s- assemble it. So I'm not sure exactly how they expect this to be sent back. Plus, all of the the shipping back to them is at my expense, of course, because they don't want to have to deal with that. Um, I think you manufacture and ship out a bad product. You should take the responsibility and and take care of it and make sure that your customers are taken care of. So if, yeah, even though... All of these are, are manufactured separately and sent out. If you get a bad one, then it's on you as the customer. You are responsible. Basically, um, sucks to be you. As Grizzly, they don't want to take any responsibility. Um, they want you to pay to send it back. They want you to pay to have somebody um, pick it up. All of that. Um, they just don't want to have to deal with it, even though it is their it's their responsibility. It's their fault. They should have manufactured it properly. And if, even if sure, yeah, things, things happen. Absolutely. Um, but why did you send it out the door with all of these issues and why are you not taking responsibility for your issues? So, um, I've said it that, um, I, I've never purchased and purchased anything from Grizzly before and I'm not going to, but, um, yeah, so that's that's my review. Sorry for the um, little tangents, but I hope that it might save somebody a little bit of a headache. And you know, you guys can hopefully learn something from my mistakes, and you can just go straight to a more reputable company or somebody who's actually going to take care of their customers, or you know, just a different manufacturer, somebody who's not going to manufacture with all these flaws. So thanks for watching, and. Until next time, hope you are doing well.